Hi everybody and welcome. I'm coach Carolyn. Thank you so much for being here. And today we're going to talk about your finish. I know it sounds a little backwards that we would be talking about something that happens after you hit the golf ball. And a lot of people think that it doesn't matter because it's after you hit the golf ball. How could it possibly impact your impact? Because it, I mean, whatever happens from here on out, who cares, right? No, that's actually not true. And we're going to talk about why. All right. So why does your finish matter? It matters to your impact, it matters to your contact, it matters to your swing. And if you don't have a good finish, you're not going to hit the ball very well. And I had this exact scenario and it's very hard to convince people of this, funny enough. And I do 100% get the logic, guys. I'm with you. How could it matter? It's after you hit the golf ball, it's after you make contact. It cannot possibly have an impact. It does. And here's why. Because a lot of people are so obsessed consumed with their golf swing, their backswing, their downswing, everything that happens here. And they have a ton of swing thoughts, right? And they try to hit all these different swing thoughts and you know how many you have. Comment below how many swing thoughts, be honest, do you actually have? And you know, I mean, there may be a winner. I'm not sure if the person with the least amount of swing thoughts will win or the most amount of swing thoughts will win, but leave me your swing thoughts below. And I wanna see like one, two, three, Four. Let's see how long we can make that list. Hopefully not. Ideally, no. Actually, let's see how short we can make that list because we don't want to have a lot of swing thoughts or only the correct ones, but I'm excited to see this. Let's hear it. So regardless, where I was going with this is that we have a list of swing thoughts. Everybody does. And you're so consumed by those that the second you feel like you haven't done one correctly. So you're, you're here, you're setting up to the ball, right? You want, you're over your shot. You want to start hitting. So you're here and you're really in a swing, you swing it back. And on the way back, you already know there's like, ah, shoot, I'm too far inside because a lot of people can feel that or, ah, shoot, I feel like I came, I'm coming over the top again. So if this happens and you're like, ah, shoot, I'm coming too far inside, whatever, you are already thinking about the swing thought you didn't do right and you're backing out of your shot. So it looks something like this. And I see this a lot with my students because they don't even look at where the ball is going because they already feel like, ah, this isn't a good shot. So this is what happens. I mean, maybe not exactly this, but basically this. So they just chunk it and they back out and they basically retract their club. It's like. Oh. So if you see yourself do this and next time you're on the, on the range somewhere on your course, watch your buddies. Do they actually do this? I mean, I could have counted to like four or five seconds in my finish. And I know what you're going to think. And I get this all the time. That, you know, my students are like, well, you know, if you hit a good shot, then I look after it. And I'm like, yes, but it's a chicken or the egg scenario because you're not going to hit a good shot if you're already mentally done with your swing by the time you get down here and you're kind of bailing out and retracting already. And you're like, oh, I need to work on the next swing. And I get that, but it's quality over quantity. You don't want to keep hitting and keep hitting and keep hitting and keep hitting take more time between shots and actually focus on your finish. And I also hold my finish if I don't hit a good shot. I actually had a guy that I went to high school with and he's a super sweet guy. He was a great player, but this guy would hold his finish and he would have dead shanked it and he would still be over there. He'd be like, you know who I'm talking about. If you're watching this, you're a great guy. I love you, but just you were holding your finish and everybody was like, Hey, um, balls over there. <laughs> but, he had a boy and he did it right. You're supposed to hold your finish and especially when you're training. So you don't bail out of the shot because here's the thing. You may have not hit your swing thought back here. Yes, you may have still rolled it in. And yes, you may have still come over the top. And yes, it may not have been exactly what you wanted to be as a swing, but you're going to commit to it. And your body is surprisingly good at compensating. So as long as you stay committed to the shot, execute it. You're here now. You're in it now. You're like halfway through. Why bail out now? You can make the, the next one better. Don't try to bail out of the one you're currently hitting because it's not going to work and it's only going to make it worse. So commit to the shot you're hitting, finish through, have a nice tall finish. So make sure you don't retract. We're not here and already down here again. And we're also not here. And we're also not here where we want to be is you get that belly button driven through to the target high hands ideally you see where my hands are they're higher than my ear they're pretty much on the top of my head type of height we don't want to be down here nobody really looks cute doing this so we want to be high hands tall all my weight on the left foot straight line 
and there's no weight here. Like I'm even falling forward because it's downwind. But I'm even falling forward because I have all my weight on the left foot. Another really good drill, and I just worked on this with a really sweet student of mine, is you're swinging and you're driving through and you keep walking, right? You keep walking, do this a couple of times. Set up in your practice swing, obviously not when you're hitting. You can if you want to. Looks a little funny, but definitely heck. I mean, whatever it takes to get better, right? Swing it, walk through. Three steps. And a lot of the time when I ask my students to do this, what happens is this, they're like, oh yeah, sure, let me do this. <laughs> like that was not walking through that was you hanging back and then you're like oh shoot i gotta move forward so make it smooth make it smooth just make it one motion and really just keep that left foot just stands and your right foot just goes over it right we're swinging and we're stepping that's all you need to do make it smooth guys so this is why the finish matters if you're bailing out because you think you haven't made a good swing up until here 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 even up until impact you can screw this up all the way until you get to impact then past it. So if you thought you were in the clear after you hit the ball, you're not. Because it still matters. This is golf to you. I mean, heck, this is why we love this game, because it's so hard. So let's hit a couple balls while I show you a really good finish. Drive that belly button through to the target. Love that contact. High hands. Hold your finish. One more. I'll try to walk through the shot for you guys this time when I'm actually hitting a ball. It's like trick shot over here. Yes, all the trick shot artists out there are going to be like, Caroline, that's not a trick shot. Okay, it's not. Fine. Trick shot for me because I'm not a trick shot artist. This is as tricky as it's going to get here. Perfect. We're walking and the ball's already flying to the hole. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Why the finish matters. It matters to your impact. It matters to your swing. It matters to your mental state. Make sure you commit to the shot. You finish the shot because committing to the wrong shot is still better than not committing to the right shot. Have you ever been in between clubs? And I feel like everybody has been in between clubs and they're like, oh, I'm going to take a seven iron um, because I think it's a six iron, but I'm going to take a seven iron and I, I may be a little short or the other way around. Right. And then you just hit the ball and you didn't commit to it and you were like, I don't know if this is the right club. And then it ends up actually being worse. And if you would have just committed to it, it would have been right. So you actually factually had the correct club in your hand, but you bailed out and you didn't commit. So you're never going to be able to succeed if you don't commit. And yes, even if you commit to the wrong shot, it's still going to be better because your body can compensate. Your brain and your body know way more than you think they do and you'll be able to make it work. But if you bail out, chances are it's not going to be so great. So I hope you love this. Leave me your swing thoughts below and I may think about a little trick or two, a little win or two, a little prize or two for either the longest or the shortest list. So leave them both. See you next time.